Hello, yes. Welcome to JSM. See, in previous session, I explained about that what is the crystal defect, what is the perfect definition of the crystal defect or imperfections, and what we have the different type of crystal defects. Okay, so that we completed in the last session. So in this session, now I am going to explain one of the a major important defects usually we observe in all the crystals. Okay, that is atom or point defects. Okay. Atom or point defects. Generally, you know that in crystal, all the lattice points are very close packing. Okay, so if the deviation or any irregularities arising due to that atom, that usually we can call that atom or point defects. Okay, so generally from that ideal arrangement, so we are getting that some irregularities. Okay, so that is from that around that in an atom. That usually we can call it atom or point defects. So generally, here how many different types of atom or point defects are there? There is three different type of atom or point defects are there. One is the stoichiometric defects. Another one is the non-stoichiometric defect, and one more is impurity defect. Okay. So now in this session, I am going to explain all the stoichiometric defects. Of course, you know that already. The stoichiometric defects again we have the four types now vacancy defect interstitial defect a short key defect and frankel defect okay so those in that one we are going to discuss about that uh, especially stoichiometric defect okay so stoichiometric defect okay generally which do not disturb the stoichiometry that usually we can call that stoichiometric defects okay so these are also called as thermodynamic defects thermodynamic defects why because generally if you increase the temperature that defects are also going to increase so that's why i used to call that thermodynamic defects and all these defects are going to occur within the crystal without adding any extra substance that's why these are also called as intrinsic defects okay so the stoichiometric defects are also called as thermodynamic defects or intrinsic defect okay so in the defect which do not disturb the stoichiometry we are also calling as thermodynamic defects why because while increasing the temperature, the defects are also going to increase as, and we are also called as intrinsic defects. So why? Because all these defects are going to occur within the crystal, but without adding any some extra substance. Okay. So here, majorly, the here the stoichiometric defects are four types. Okay. So what is the first one? <coughs> Vacancy defect. Vacancy defect, and the second one is interstitial defect. Interstitial defect, and third one, short key defect, and fourth one, Frankel defect. Okay, Frankel defect. Majorly, the vacancy defect and interstitial defect. We are observing in the non-ionic solids. Okay, so majorly we observe in the non-ionic solids, and especially the short key and Frankel defects. We are observing in ionic solids. Okay, so vacancy and interstitial. First, you can look at this, which are shown by the non-ionic solids. Okay, so first one look that. So for example, a crystal. In the crystal, all the crystal lattice are arranged in a systematic order. Okay, so I am assuming this one of the a packing of the crystal. Okay, all the lattice sites are arranged in a systematic order. Okay, if one of the lattice site is vacant. Okay, if one of the lattice site is a vacant, so the crystal said to have vacancy defect. Okay.
okay so here the vacancy defect is arising due to vacant one lattice site okay from its original position so that usually we can call that vacancy defect and majorly when you observe that vacancy defect okay so the density of the substance is going to decreases okay so one of the major consequence we can observe with the help of this vacancy defect the density of substance is going to decreases why because when the lattice site is missing the mass of the substance is going to decreases of course the volume is same so that's why the density is going to decreases clear so vacancy defect within the name is that due to vacant of lattice site clear okay next one you can look that interstitial defect interstitial defect so for example if i am taking that a systematic order of arrangement of all atoms in a crystal okay suppose assume it is in a crystal structure okay so in this one all are arranged in a perfect regular order of arrangement okay so this site usually we can call that interstitial site okay so these are usually we can call that interstitial sites for so this one or this one whatever you can take that interstitial site here in this one some of the lattice sites are coming from the outside and occupy interstitial positions okay so interstitial defect is arising due to that occupy of that some lattice point in interstitial site so that crystal said to have interstitial defect okay now observe that when interstitial defect is arising the mass of the substance is going to increases why because some lattice sites are some lattice points are coming extra so when mass is going to increases of course the volume is remain same so the density of substance is going to increases clear so these are the actually two defects which are shown by non ionic solids okay one is a vacancy defect due to the vacant of lattice site one more is the interstitial defect due to that occupants of the lattice sites from that outside okay in interstitial site Clear? Now let us see the uh, Schottky defect and Frenkel defect, okay, which are shown by ionic solids. See, while dealing with that ionic solids, one of the major important thing you must remember here, even those are possessing any defect, actually, those should be maintain electrical neutrality, okay. So here, two important things you must remember. We are studying under the stoichiometric defect. So that means the stoichiometry do not disturb that nothing but number of cations and number of anions we are expecting the same and at the same time i am using the term it should be maintain that electrical neutrality okay so for that always you can look that the number of positive charged species should be equals to that number of negative species okay now let's see short key defect okay so here one of the ionic solid i am taking that ab okay a plus b minus so here the perfect order of arrangement i am given this is an ideal arrangement okay if equal number of cations and anions okay if equal number of cations and anions are missing from its lattice site usually when equal number of cations and anions are missing so it is going to maintain in that electrical neutrality and also of course it is a maintaining the stoichiometry okay so this type of the defect usually we can call that short key defect okay so where equal number of cations and anions are missing from its lattice site that usually we can call that short key defect okay so majorly this type of the defects are shown by okay some favorable condition which are showing highly ionic compounds okay generally which are more ionic this highly ionic compounds are shown this type of the defect and which have similar size which have similar size of k 
cation and anion okay so which have similar size of cation and anion generally while dealing with that ionic solids cation usually we can take the less size okay in any ionic solid but here i shown with that observe this one these have similar size okay so especially schottky defect we can expect the ionic solids which have that similar size of cations and anions those are showing that schottky defect and one more favorable condition which have high coordination number okay which have high coordination number especially we can expect that 6 and 8 so these are generally shown by the schottky defect okay so these three are we are taking as in a favorable conditions which show that schottky defect so the best examples for this type of one nacl kcl cesium chloride okay like that nabr kbr agbr agbr okay so here i am given some of the examples here i am given the star mark once you can look at that agbr okay so while schottky defect when it is going to arise in a crystal generally the three consequence we should be observe in this one okay the first one that number of ions are going to missing okay so that what happened the mass is going to decreases okay see that volume is remains same so what you are expecting the density density is going to decreases okay so density due to schottky defect density is going to decreases and when the schottky defect is present in a crystal those are going to conduct electricity to a small extent okay so due to schottky defect we can expect that conductivity so why it is showing that conductivity look at this here we have that hole hole so it is in a cation so this hole may be occupied by this cation that means the movement of ion we are expecting from a plus from ear to ear when a plus is moving from ear to ear what happened here again the hole is there okay so this hole may be occupied by this a plus okay so due to the presence of these holes when we have that holes these holes when occupied by that another ions okay so what happened there is a movement of ions are going to occur so we can expect that conductivity okay so here it going to conduct the small extent okay so conductivity to small extent and third one due to schottky defect that crystal is going to unstable okay so why due to the presence of holes the stability is going to decreases okay that stability is going to decreases due to presence of holes okay so where that equal number of anions and cations are going to missing those usually we can call that schottky defect so when it is losses equal number of cations and anions it is a maintaining stoichiometry as well as it maintaining that electrical neutrality clear so these are the favorable conditions and examples and these are the consequence due to that schottky defect clear okay now let's see the frankel defect okay so here i'm given that perfect order of arrangement of one ionic solid ab okay now look at this in this one some of the lattice sites are missing okay some of the lattice sites are missing its original positions and occupying here interstitial sites okay so generally cations are going to occupy that interstitial sites why because generally when compared to that anion cation usually less size okay so cations some of the lattice sites are missing from its original site and occupying that interstitial site so this type of defect usually we can call that frankel defect okay see here 
any ion is not missing that means it is not moving out that crystal some of the ions are dislocating nothing but the position of this one okay a plus the cation is missing okay so from its original lattice site position and occupying the nearest interstitial site so this type of that defects we can expect where which have large difference large difference in size okay so large difference in size so that's why i shown with respect of the different size of ions here and which have low coordination number which have low coordination number those are generally shows frankel defect okay so the best example are jns agcl agbr agi okay so the best examples we are given which are showing that frankel defect jns agcl agbr agi okay so observe the clearly agbr can show both schottky defect as well as frankel defect so very important example which shows the both schottky defect as well as frankel defect okay so why because due to that highly ionic nature we can expect generally it is showing the schottky defect and there is a large difference in size so that's why it is showing that frankel defect okay so observe the consequences here any ions are missing from that crystal no okay so only position is going to change so mass does not disturb and volume is also does not disturb so the density remains same density remains same okay so it doesn't changes the density okay and one more the dielectric constant dielectric constant increases okay and it is also going to conduct okay electricity some extent okay so conduct electricity so small extent here also we can expect same that electricity okay and due to presence of the holes it is also unstable okay so it is also unstable clear these are that consequences due to that schottky defect and frankel defect okay so one of the major important example you can observe that agbr which are shown both schottky defect and frankel defect okay now let us see the formula to calculate the number of schottky defect and number of frankel defects okay here i am given the directly the number of schottky defects in an ionic crystal which contain n number of ions at room at temperature t at temperature t so that i am given small n is equals to capital n into e to the power of minus e by 2 kt so small n is the number of schottky defects that capital n is number of ions in ionic crystal and where e is the energy required to create that n number of schottky defects and k is equals to boltzmann constant you know that r by na uh, usually you are taken that one okay and the number of frankel defects n okay in ionic solid which contain n ions and ni is the number of interstitial sites okay n i is the number of interstitial sites okay so that number of frankel defects n is equals to n by n i all to the power of 1 by 2 e to the power of minus e by 2 kt okay so these are the formulas we are using to calculate the number of schottky defects and number of frankel defects